Bismillah. Hello, welcome back. I got a mail from Saurabh Kulkarni. Please explain your program to find the number of zeros and ones in a given data. We shall see a simple program for this one. Let my data is equal to 1011011. This is my given data. And we want to count the number of ones or we want we can count the number of zero for instance let me count the number of ones this simple uh, logic behind this is this is my data i will store in some register then i will rotate this in the right direction eight times when i rotate once then this bit will come to the carry flag then i will check if the carry flag is one then i will make the counter is equal to one then when I rotate the second time, then also the carry flag will become 1, therefore my counter will become 2. When I rotate the third time, this the 0 will go, therefore carry flag is 0, I will not increment the counter. Again when I count, when I rotate the fourth time, this 0 will enter, I will not increment the counter. When I rotate the fifth time, this 1 will enter into the carry flag, therefore my counter becomes 3. And likewise, when I rotate this one, the counter becomes 4. When I rotate this one, my counter is not incremented. When I rotate this one, the carry flag is 1. Therefore, my counter becomes uh, incremented. So, the number of ones are 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, from this, we can sub get the number of zeros by subtracting 8 because my data is 8 bits. Alright, with simple logic is this one. Let us try this one. Therefore, to count uh, to count uh, number of uh, ones, number of ones in a given data. This we should do using 8086. Right, the first directory is model small. The second directory is stack 256 memory location. The third directive is data. I will take n defined by it. I will take something say phi f. Alright. Therefore phi f is hexadecimal number. Alright. Then I will take a variable count defined by it which is not initialized. Then my code segment begins. I take a label begin and move in ax register the starting address of data. Move in data segment ax. All right, move in some register. I will take AL register. I will take the value n. Therefore, my n is equal to phi f. Phi f means it will be 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, and f is 1, 1, 1, 1. This is in terms of binary. Then I have to rotate this 8 times. Therefore, I will take CS x register equal to 0, 8. Therefore, this is a counter for rotating 8 times. 8 uh, times then I will take BL BL I will take this is my initial counter this is a counter to count a number of ones to count a number of uh, ones all right now first thing what shall we do is we shall uh, sh shift right which one AL one bit we shall SHR that is you shift right which one AL register by how many bits by one time that is one time so all right all right and now the least significant bit would have gone to the carry flag therefore jump on no carry therefore if the carry is not there we do not add that is we don't increment the counter if the carry flag is one then increment the BL register Therefore, if carry flag is equal to 1, then counter is equal to my counter plus 1. Here counter is equal to BL. Right. If there is no carry, then I don't add. Therefore, simply I come here. No add. One time rotation is over. Now I have to repeat this process 8 times. Therefore, again I do this one again. Alright. Once if all the 8 rotations are over, my number of 1s are stored in the counter BL. Therefore, which I will move in the count uh, variable, my BL, my job is over. Therefore, move A S comma 4 C S, and this is enter 21 H, and this is end BL. 
Right, I have taken n as a given number and cx is equal to 8 for 8 times rotation and dl is equal to 0. Shift right by 1. If carry is not there, then I do not add and I take the next bit. Then if carry is equal to 1, I increment the bl. And then I put the bl in count register. This we shall file. This I say. I call it as count.asm all files. Now let us go to the dash prompt and we shall TASM count. Right, there are no errors. Now we have to make an object file. Therefore, I link it. I give the file name count and same exe I want. Count would have been uh, created. Now let us run the program and debug count.exe and assemble. Now go and dump the memory location 0 bdd 0 bdd colon 0 right my given number is equal to 5f 5f therefore 5f is uh, this one and here you can see you can, you can see that 4f has four number of ones 5 has two number of ones and therefore this has uh, six number of ones six number of ones are there let me change i will take this one as equal to a, A, already A has uh, uh, two ones, and uh, say I will take this one is equal to seven. Seven, already A has two number of ones, otherwise, I will take EFF. EFF has how many number of ones? Eight number of ones. Since the first one is a character, I proceed it with a zero, alright, alt F, yes, and now we shall do the same thing. I quit again. Let us compile it, let us link it. Let us link it and again let us uh, what is this one? The file name is count and a semicolon. And uh, now let us uh, run the program and unassemble go dump from 0 pdd colon 0. I should get the answer equal to 8. You see that the number of count is equal to 8 is there, right? This is a very simple question. Uh, on his request, I have made it. Uh, hope at least he will make some comments. And please uh, subscribe my channel and please give comments. Your comments alone will encourage me so that I can uh, imp I can make a little improvements based on your comments. Thank you so much. Uh, we shall see continue in our next lecture. Thank you.